Hello everybody and welcome to Nomad Survival. My name is Sir Kovar and today we are going to be going for the Sacrificial Ritual Achievement, which you have to get in the third map, the dungeon map, uh, by killing the first three bosses on top of the Sacrificial Ritual Circle. And so I recommend using the Crusader character. It's probably the best character for survival in these sorts of things. Um, if you want to play a different one, I, I think Quickling is another good option, but I still recommend Crusader. Um, I play the Berserker Heritage because it doubles all your damage, um, but if you're not good at dodging things, don't play it because you cannot recover HP. Play the Nomad instead because it gives you additional rerolls. Um, I'm going to play Berserker though because that's what I enjoy. Uh, I play increased game speed, but that makes it harder. Uh, so I'm going to do that, but you don't have to. You can do whatever speed you'd like. It still works for the achievement regardless. Um, don't mess with any of these. Just play as normal. And so we are going to go up. And, ooh, XP. So if you can focus on it, XP from the start is one of the best things you can do because it'll increase your growth throughout the entire run. After that, it starts to become much less useful because later game, if you take it then you've already gained a ton of levels without it, and it's already a bunch of wasted, like, potential. Um, Miniaturize helps you dodge the little shadow things that'll pop up in the uh, run at a later point. Uh, so you're going to go left up here. I'm going to get damage, because uh, the build we're going for, we're going to get Colorless Glyph. And Colorless Glyph is, in my opinion, the best skill in the game. Uh, the best weapon by far. I don't care what anyone says, it is top tier. And that is what we're going to use. So, Colorless Glyph and all of the damage and critical increases you can get is going to be our build. Purifying Circle and other area of effect things are good too. You can take them, but focus on damage and Colorless Glyph. And that is going to carry you through the entire game. Like, it doesn't matter what comes at you, you will kill it all. Uh, if, you if you don't have a lot of upgrades, though, on your character, it might be a little bit more difficult. And so this right here is the entrance to go to the ritual circle and so let's see we've got ah here it is our main skill colorless glyph and it starts off very small and so you want to kill the bosses while on top of this circle so critical damage but you see how nothing can touch us i mean we we can just stand here and just passively farm levels for a while and i'm just going to keep taking things that make myself more survivable like movement speed uh, evasion, and then also more damage because we want to make sure those shadows can't kill us. So if I get movement speed, I'll take that. But I'll also take things like more skill size for that. <coughs> but I don't want the shadows to be able to hit me, and miniaturize helps a lot for that in this small area. And once you get those, you're basically just going to kite them in this little area. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute when they show up. But being smaller definitely helps with that. And so, honestly, I'm getting really lucky with all the miniaturized upgrades I'm getting. And Ascension actually helps as well, because it increases all of your stats. And that actually makes it much easier to stay alive. Uh, critical Chance, that's good. Um, if you want, if you're playing the Merchant or any of the other Heritages, uh, the Nomad, just basically anything but the Berserker, you can take any of the HP increases to stay alive easier. I just don't do it because they don't help me at all as a Berserker, so I just ignore them. Uh, but they will help you if you're playing one of the other Heritages. So let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that again. So this is going to make it super easy to avoid these guys. Uh, movement speed would be awesome because that'll help us even more. But we're pretty much set at this point to just grind out XP and just ignore those guys. And we're almost done with uh, evolving Miniaturize all the way. And you don't want to do this challenge unless you have a decent amount of upgrades, just because it's really difficult to do without a bunch of upgrades to your character in the main menu upgrade section. Like, I have a lot of upgrades, so it's not too hard. Uh, but I wanted to do a video of it for my first run because I know a lot of people have difficulty with this kind of thing and want to see how it's done. So I figured I would do it along with you. That way we could all get the achievement together because I haven't actually gotten it myself, and I figured, why not show everyone how to do it? This is a super easy build that anyone can do. Like, you don't even need skill except for dodging the shadows. You can just stand around and just let things die. 
And so at this point, we're just going to take all these skills and just keep grinding. Like, we don't even have to try. And if you want, you can also take pickup range if you want to get the stuff up there. But you could also just stay a little more further down uh, to keep them further down here. And we're going to ignore the crystals and stuff because it takes way too long to get back down here um, in between the first crystal and the first boss. After the first boss spawns, we're going to go for that first crystal. You don't have to. I'm personally going to because I know I can get back in time. But if you want to play it safe, feel free to stay here. You don't need you don't need the relics to win. So you can just stay in here and just take the safe, safe route and just farm as much as you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take more, more of that. And the shadows will be popping up, I think, at minute seven. Or is it, I think it's minute six or seven. So we'll, we'll see in a few seconds it'll say, like, the shadows are whispering or something like that whenever they start to spawn. Um, I am going to take shield. Since I'm on the berserker, it'll negate one attack. So once those guys do start to spawn, it'll stop one hit from them, which will actually reduce quite a bit of damage over time. Uh, if I take any little scuffs off to the side. Uh, this will increase my movement speed, so I definitely want to take that. Normally, I would take Colorless Glyph there, but I'm doing fine on damage right now with Colorless Glyph. Nothing's actually gotten to me at all, so I'm not really concerned on my damage at this moment. Um, I don't want to slack off on it, and there's movement speed, which is what I was looking for. Because movement speed will make it so I can get back and forth between the crystals and stuff much more easily. And there's more damage. And here's the first boss. And so you just want to make sure you dodge as best as you can and just kill him on top of this circle. And you'll see if you do it successfully, it'll fill one of these. And once you've filled all three, you'll get the achievement. Um, I don't really want either of those. Ooh, I get the boss skill. And... Oh. Okay, well, I can pick Fireball. And I'll go ahead and take the Fireball skill at some point because it is worth it since I have the relic. Oh, look at that. See, that is awesome. That makes it worthwhile. Look how big those are. <laughs> and so now I'm going to go ahead and make my way to grab that crystal, which thankfully is relatively close with the movement speed increases. But see, it's not a quick journey. And see, now eight minutes in is when the shadows start to come. So the shadows begin to whisper is the message that pops up. So the first boss comes, then the shadows come, and then the boss will come again after that. Another set of shadows will come, and then so on. Once you get the third boss, the achievement should be completed for you. But we got another set of relics here. Hopefully more than one. Uh, I'll go ahead and get that. And another fire increase. That's good. And we'll upgrade critical damage some more. And now we're going to make our way back to the ritual area because we don't want to be caught out in the rain while we're uh, having a boss spawn. It's funny, the shadows are just kind of hanging around. Didn't really see them very much. They were kind of just avoiding me. Okay, so... Oh, there's Purifying Circle. Okay. And see, now we have a little one that follows us, so we have even more of the area effects. And so the shadows are going to come down here, and I'm just going to kite them. So I'm just going to get them all in one area and then just run around them and see how small I am and my movement speed, it made it so I wasn't going to take any damage at all from them. And so that just kept me totally fine. And I'm going to get more critical damage because at this point, I actually have a decent crit rate and crit damage, so it's worth taking for sure. And then I'm just going to do the same thing and then just kite them. Ooh, let's see. I want to get more purifying circle. We're going to throw it right up here. Let these guys go all to one side and pass out. There we go. Now, I do need to get more damage because you see my uh, my damage is not instantly killing the creatures anymore. And I don't want to start falling behind. So I'm definitely needing to make sure I start taking damage stuff instead of movement and survivability. But I haven't taken any more hits since that initial first hit. So that just goes to show how useful all that survivability stuff came to be. And see, I just took one, but the shield blocked it. So now we're going to take more critical chance, because that will help with damage. 
But if we see more damage percent, or if we see more colorless glyph levels, that is really what we want. Or XP, actually. XP will help even more because it'll help us level faster. So that actually will be better in the long term. Right now, it's not going to help us, but we don't need it right this second. So, And now the shadows are going to go away, so we don't have to dodge as much, and we can focus more on what's going on. Ooh, and we get we get fireballs now, and with the two upgrades we got, they'll actually be really good. Okay, shadows disappear. Let's see, more critical chance. Okay, and see that shield just totally saved me there from taking a bunch of damage. And I'm gonna go ahead and take damage here. Oh, look at that! I love SP boosters. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and take a. Uh, Take the XP boost there. Oh, colorless glyph. See, that's what we want. Okay, and the shadows should be going away now. And we're going to take more XP. See, I took a little bit of damage there, but that's fine. And more critical damage. Come on, shadow, go away. Okay, more damage. Okay, and I think the next boss is at 15 minutes. So that is when we're going to be trying to stay on top of this for sure. I'm going to stay slightly below it though for now because I don't want to... Um... Oh, there it is. Actually, it's 14 minutes. My mistake. Okay, so we're going to stay right on top of this to make sure we actually... Um... God, I hate all these little floating ball things. There we go. We got two of them. And come on. Oh, I want I want colorless glyph. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll get spectral bow. I don't even know if I'm actually going to pick spectral bow, but it's better than energy wave. In my opinion. Oh, I think we need to go with colorless glyph for now. We need a little bit more size. Isn't that what we all say? <laughs> Okay, so we've killed two of the bosses on top of it now. So we're doing pretty good. Um, and again, if I wasn't playing the Berserker Heritage, I wouldn't be taking so much damage uh, and not healing. I mean, I'd be taking the same amount of damage, but I would be healing it back. But if you're playing another one, you'll be fine. And now that we just killed a boss, though, I can go out and get those other, um, those other crystals if I want. But I kind of don't want to. I'm a little worried to do that because... That's a long way away because you get teleported all the way up to the top and then you got to make your way all the way back down. So I would rather just hang tight here, farm XP, make sure I'm good, and just hold tight. So we'll get some more critical damage there. We really need to get some more colorless glyph upgrades to really cover our base here. Okay, critical chance is fine. Because as, as you can see, almost 50% of the time we're having a crit now. And it does quite a bit of damage. I mean, 5,000 damage on crits from my SP ability. And so you can actually focus on doing a Spectral Sword and SP Potion build if you want to. And that's actually a very effective uh, way of doing Area of Attack with Crusader. Because he actually has a really good Area of Effect SP since it spirals out like that. And so it can be another Area of Effect of its own. So it's worth using um, if you take this. So I might actually do that once I get... <clears throat> once I max out Colorless Glyph and the other ones that I'm using, because it'll actually be worthwhile. Oh, I wish I could grab that chest from up, from down here. Okay, let's see. Um, go ahead and get more critical damage. I want critical percent so I can have more crits, because I have a lot of critical damage already. I want to hit more crits in general. Okay, let's see what we can get here. Oh, there we go, more critical chance. Okay, uh, more fireballs, fine. It's always good to have more fireballs. And I think the shadows are about to spawn again. Uh, no? Okay, I thought they did. I guess they must spawn in at 19 or 20 minutes then. Okay, more critical chance. And see, now we're doing 8,000 damage per hit. So pretty much anything we hit dies instantly. 
So we're just having to dodge things at this point. And if you if you got more area on your colorless glyph, you would still be fine. So the more you upgrade that, you'll actually be you'll be fine because you'll kill things before they get close enough to throw things at you. <clears throat> Since I focused on miniaturize, it actually kind of made it a little harder for me, but that's all right because I wanted to be able to dodge the shadows easier. I'm just a little lazy. So I'm gonna sit right here for a second. And let's go ahead and choose another purifying circle because it is very useful to have. And you notice sometimes I don't even have to dodge the things because of how much evasion I have. I have 70%, so that means only 3 out of 10 hits will hit me. So I don't even have to worry all that much. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get more ascension. Uh, that affects all of your skills. So it's worth upgrading for sure. <clears throat> oh, more colorless glyph, my favorite. go and I think the shadows will appear at 20 and then the boss will appear at 21 I believe oh there's more XP finally see if you get all the XP upgrades earlier on it's much much better okay and here's all the shadows so this is where it starts to get a little harder this is probably the hardest part actually is surviving this wave before the boss honestly I think killing the boss is the easier part because there aren't the shadows to worry about at that point Okay, so I need to focus on killing enemies. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag these guys into one side and then kite them on the other side. And that, that's basically how you do it. You just drag them down to one side and then just go on the other. And that's all you have to do. You just move around. And if you have enough movements... Oh, there's the boss. Here we go. Okay. So the shadows aren't gone yet, but that's fine. I'll just run up here. And just avoid these guys. Oh, God. Okay, um, critical damage. I got it, okay. So I killed the boss, got the achievement. So again, it is risky, it is difficult to do to play on Berserker. I would recommend playing the Nomad and on normal speed if you really want an easy time doing it. But that is how you get the achievement uh, on Berserker, at least. Uh, you do a lot of damage. Area of effect, like I said, you'll have a lot easier time if you just get as much area as you can buff out your you know your colorless glyph to make it huge where it'll cover like the whole screen basically and you'll basically not die because nothing will be able to get close enough to even throw projectiles at you because essentially that's what i did in a last run i did uh where i was trying to unlock it but i didn't realize you had to actually get into that little ritual room so i did the whole thing standing in the pathway above it which i think is what a lot of people probably try doing and then realize it doesn't work and are wondering how to get down there and that's why I wanted to record this run, because I didn't know how to complete the achievement myself, so I wanted to help other people. And so that is how you get the achievement, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish this run. So for those of you who watched to get the achievement, uh, there you have it. You can continue watching for the rest of the run if you'd like. I would appreciate it. If you liked uh, the content and appreciate the help getting the achievement, uh, go ahead and throw a like on the video. If you want more assistance with any content like this, go ahead and subscribe for more. And uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions for future videos or anything else. And, oh, more critical chance. Oh, we got another. Wait, wait there's two chests here? Okay. That's my fourth relic on Fireball. Holy crap. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get another shield. Sure. Let's just kill all these guys. We're going to go ahead and grab this other chest, too. I really want to get a colorless glyph upgrade or two, or, or like six. That would be awesome. Uh, that's not what I want, but I'll take it. Another fireball. Jeez. I really need to start focusing on fireball then. Okay. There we go. And uh, actually, if you stay to the end of the video as well, I will also show the new character that I unlocked, if you would like to see that before you get the achievement yourself as well. So feel free to stick around and see the new character. Or I could even make a whole video with it as well afterwards. But I'll at least show the character at the end. Because I know it looked like it was carrying like a teddy bear or something in the, in the silhouette. Like I said, this was my run that I unlocked it in. I hadn't actually unlocked it myself. So we shall see. Um, let's see. Only a few rerolls left. Um, more fireball. 
I got a lot of upgrades on it, so I really want to get it upgraded all the way. Do a crap ton of damage with it. Curious how much damage it'll actually do. It's doing like 14,000? Holy crap. Oh, now it has an explosion radius increase. Um, I'll skip that. We'll get XP increase. That's always good. And we'll get another, uh, another relic chest here. Watch, more fireball. <laughs> I know, we got a ascension. That's always good. Uh, more fireball. There we go. I'm not even being careful at this point because I got the achievement, so I got what I needed out of the run. So I'm not really worried about it. Let's see. Where is fireball? Oh, I'll take a potion, actually. The stamina potion. It'll just increase my, uh, my amount of area of effect stuff going on. And there's fire. Jeez, the fire does so much damage. They do like 19,000. Holy crap. Okay. And maxed XP gain at a little 94. Like, it's way late in the game. But see, it's like so long until I finally got it. So I wasted so many levels that I didn't get the full bonus of it. But it is what it is. Like, last time I recorded, I got 111, 111 levels by the end. So we'll see what I get this time. It's probably not going to be near that. Because, well, I don't know, maybe. We'll see. I'm doing a lot of damage and killing things pretty quick. Oh, I have no more rerolls. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and do archery. Increase our projectile speed. Let's go ahead and reroll. Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, we'll go for a pickup range. That's more important to me than more weapons. I kill things plenty fast. Amount, that's good. Okay, get another spectral sword upgrade. Ooh, more fireball. Once I get one more level in fireball, it'll get a lot of upgrades. See, there we go. This is going to be nuts. And we'll get size, more amount. Oh, look how fast that's going off now. It's just going everywhere. Okay, so let's just keep upgrading from here. More amount. Can't go wrong with more. More is always better. Well, not always. A lot of things are not better with more of it. But you know what I mean. Uh, skill size. Sure, I'll take it. I just saw... Holy crap, was that 30,000 damage? Wait. I need to see this damage from the fireball. Hold on. 34,000? 35,000. Oh my god. I don't think it's going to get the maximum damage for, like, the highest weapon in the run, though, because it doesn't hit as wide of an area. I think the weapon skill or colorless glyph will. Normally, it would be colorless glyph, but I didn't upgrade it as much this run, and the weapon skill itself, like the one spinning all around, that one did a lot more. So that might actually overtake colorless glyph on this run. And I'm also upgrading SP this time, so we'll see. Projectile speed is great. More SP. Oh, I actually hit a level 115 already. Holy crap. Yeah, so we definitely passed the other one I did. This might actually be my highest level run now. Just killing things so fast. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. So I've got more amount. Like I said... More is not bad, at least in the sense of more weapons and more projectile speed. <clears throat> okay, so I think we capped out at level 120. I don't think we're going to hit another level up from here. Usually a few more creatures spawn, but I don't think there's going to be enough to hit a whole new level. May Maybe close. Like, we might hit, like, right here on the bar or something like that, but we'll see. I, I don't think we're going to level up, though. So, let's see. Let's see if we hit where I put on the bar. <clears throat> okay, and here comes the boss. Wow. <laughs> he just got evaporated. Holy crap! Oh, and Fireball actually won out. Wow. Okay, that's impressive. I've actually never seen so many skills that were so close in damage. These four all got so close, like the weapon skill and these top three. That was really impressive. So thank you guys 
whoever stayed to the end. I really appreciate it. And again, if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe if you want more, and I will see all you guys in the next one. Peace. Editor, me, later. I forgot to show the character. <laughs> well, I say later. It was right after the run. I hit stop recording after the outro and then realized, oh yeah, I said I would show the character. Um, so I think I have to buy the new character, right? So, oh yeah, it's in unlocks. Okay, so Whisperer. Okay. So, go in here. Whisperer. So, max SP 900... So I think, yeah, that's the most. It is the most, every character goes up by 100. So weapon skill possession. Stop moving and take control of an immortal spirit. Boss enemies target the spirit, but normal enemies still target your real body. While active, you're immune to all projectiles. SP regen continues while the spirit is active, which summons more spirits. Recover 10 HP and SP each time an enemy takes damage from a spirit. After the spirit times out, your SP is reset to zero regardless of its progress. Spirit movement speed increases at level 20 and 40. That sounds insanely difficult to play. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So you can't increase the amount. That makes sense. Uh, with exception to the merchant heritage, though. So that's interesting. Uh, so I'll definitely have to think about making a video about that. Let me know what you think if I should make a Whisperer run. Maybe like a, a Whisperer... I don't know. What would be a good run with that? Like a Whisper max SP build, of course, having like 900 SP. That sounds insane. Yeah, I think that would be probably the most insane build. So an SP build, I, it's got to be some sort of challenge, though. Maybe like a, a no move, no damage SP build challenge with Whisperer with no active weapons except for the weapon skill possession. That could be really cool. Yeah, I think I think that could be something we could try. Let me know what you think in the comments about that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.